the sky own the sky project day three we're talking about strength testing okay so this is his uh his third day training we just did a chin up test would you get seven and a half seven point eight five seven point eight five reps it's not um, third day of training it's third day of assessing right? of, of of testing right there's, so been, no, we, there's been no training that's gone into any of this just yet we're getting we're getting baseline numbers okay so um, now what we're going to do is, is, is we're going to test his pushing strength, his horizontal pushing strength via uh, the games push-up. This is, this is a CrossFit idea, and, and I love this idea because it, it makes you get tight, right? So the, what the games push-up is, is from this position, I'm going to get belly tight, butt tight, and then I'm going to push up everything in one line, come down, deload, Everything goes off tension in this position, and then I have to re-tension belly tight, butt tight, so I come up, off, boom, I've got to stay tight. One thing I wanna point out is, uh, I don't know if you're able to see it perfectly on the camera, but when Tim gets his belly tight and his butt clenched, his legs form a straight line, okay? When you're not clenching your stomach and your butt, there's like almost like that V-shape that happens, and I know Tim's gonna yell at me if I start to let that V-shape creep in. So, uh, you know, butt tight, belly tight leads to that horizontal leg, which is what we want. We don't want it to be a V. It is not okay, Maddie, to do this, is what he's getting at. When he gets to that, we're calling it. It's not okay. When I start sneaking? When you start sneaking, we start doing the worm. Is that what oh, they call the it? The worm? Sorry, the worm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't break dance. I don't, I don't know how it goes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Games push up. Let's, right, see, so. uh, let's see Matty's baseline strength numbers. Let's start from the bottom. So he's going to go ahead and get everything tight and then hit it. Like One. this? Yep. Just let it, let it go. You go faster than that. Three. Four. Push. Five. Tight. Seven. Oh, moved it. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, stay tight, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, uh, starting to break a little bit, 2, stay tight, come on, get 25. Three, four, nice. I'm gonna call it, Matty. You're breaking a little right. bit. He's starting to get that there, so we'll go with 25. Damn it! I swear, it sounds like, like in here more, which is what's like starting to get tired. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of tightness there. So 25 push-ups, guys, try that. Try the game's push-up. Think about getting belly tight, butt tight, everything. When we go into that tunnel of movement, everything's got to be tight, everything's got to be locked in so that we can really generate force, generate torque through those shoulders and uh, perform the good push-up. We're going to come back at you in a sec with uh, our core stability um, test. Might be good. Uh, sorry to interject. Go, go but, for it. Uh, you know, if you guys are getting this done maybe as a warm-up or something to do in your practice, Instead of doing it by yourself, which is obviously a great thing to do, if you have a partner with you, they'll be able to see if your legs start to droop, if your butt starts to pop up, whatever, so that they can really call you on your BS form. So practice as you can on your own. Maybe implement this uh, in some training sessions with your teams even, which would be a great idea. Is that an ammunition jersey? Hoodie? No, no, it's one of our... Play ultimate hoodies, which oh, that's we ammunition. Saw. That's ammunition color. We saw those course. this color combo. It's funny that you bring that up. We saw that color combo when we did the ammunition jerseys, and I said I gotta use that for something. Yeah. And it just turned out awesome. Yeah, they, I think. they came out. They came out really good. Core stability. Next video.